Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dela Nation. Today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, DOS box. It's like a virtual machine for uh, to run the old MS-DOS uh, application. So uh, there will be a couple of videos that I'll be making on this channel that will request us to use it. So this video, I'm, I made it to show you how to install uh, DOS box. So what you, I, I will ask you to do is to go uh, to Google and then type DOS box so uh, in your search result you should have um, this uh, result coming so we have here uh, one of uh, the, the result that gives us a website called dos, uh, dosbox.com so we're going to click on that one so we're going to get to this website so here it it's it tells us we have different options and uh, depending on what operating system we are using i'm using window 8.1 uh, so uh, i'm gonna install the dots box uh, ve uh, version 0 0.74 so i need a, a window uh, 32 uh, installer so i'm just going to click on the window link and then there should be coming another link so it says in few seconds there will be um, uh, it's gonna be downloaded automatically or else i should click on the direct link so as you can see it came by itself so i'm just going to click on save files it's going to save the file the file is already saved so what I'm going to do is just to click on to execute this file so what you're going to do is that so I'm going to have this uh, license agreement I, I think you should just read it after reading that click on next and then say what you want you want the desktop uh, shortcut and the core file to be there and then click on next here the location where you want to install the application i've already installed the application so i'm not going to click install again so after installing uh, after uh, you should be clicking on install because you want to install your application and here it's where you specify why you want the application to be installed so click on install and then the application will be installed on my case because the application is already installed so you should have the application on your desktop as you see there uh, so what I'm going to ask you guys to do is just to open their application. So what, how are we going to do it? We're just going to double click on it. And then we're going to have a screen like this one that will come. So on the screen, we need to have a directory when we're going to be doing our job. So we need to mount that directory on, uh, on this environment so that we use uh, our application on that specific directory. So how to mount a directory? Let's say you created a directory. Uh, let's say I've created a directory called NASM, NASM on my C drive. So it's this NASM here that I'm going to be using C, NASM directory. I'm going to be putting my old DOS application. Like as you can see, I have one here that called uh, diba.exe. So it's an old uh, six, uh, 16 bit application. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to on the DOS. On the DOS box window, I'm just going to type mount. Please type as you see there. And then I'm going to put a space. I'm going to call this drive C. So I'm going to call it C. I'm, I'm using a, a capital, uh, a lowercase C. It, it, it's up to you. Um, I'm going to call it C. And then I'm going to put a space and specify what directory I want to uh, mount there. So it's because it's this directory that I want to mount. It's C. Uh, NASM. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type there C and then colon and then put the backslash and then write NASM. So this is the directory I'm going to be mounting and I will, in this environment of those uh, box, I'm going to be using it as C. So I'm going just to, to press on the enter button. So if everything is fine, if there is no error, you should get this one, this message saying drive C. So this is the the, the name we called uh, this uh, directory so the the name is c if everything works fine you should have this message drive c is mounted as local directory c nasm so as you can see there um it is mounted so if i want to get there how, how should i do if i want to get to the directory where i will work so i'm going to write c and then colon and then press enter as you can see i'm now on that directory i can verify if it's really pointing on this directory where i have my dos uh, program so what i'm going to type i'm going to type dir as you know on dos when you type dir it shows you what you have so uh, it tells me that um, i have my 
uh, the back.exe file that is there. So I am actually pointing on this folder. This is where I'm going to put my application, my DOS application. I'm going to stop this uh, video here. Uh, stay tuned, subscribe to this channel for more video. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.